Guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured I'd do a quick video of showing uh, we're feeding our bottle calves um, milk replacer and how to make the bottles and then showing you feeding the calves um, how we do it. So we're only feeding two calves right now. Um, when you make the water, or make the milk rather, the temperature needs to be around 100 degrees. I think it's like 100 to 105. Um, We've been doing it a while, or I have, but you can tell about where the water needs to be just by the touch. It's not hot, but it's more or less a lukewarm. So I'm just waiting for the water to warm up now. And all I do, I've got two bottles here, and I'll fill the bottles full of water first. A funnel, a mixing bowl, and then a whisk. It takes a couple minutes for the water to get warm. And we use Dawn to wash our bottles every time, um, to wash the nipples. And then we've got a handy little drying rack here behind me to keep everything uh, so it can strip down the sink to dry. So that water's getting pretty close. Like I said, you can just tell by the feel of it. So I fill it to the four pints mark, both bottles. Um, when we first started feeding ball calves, we didn't know any better, and our milk replacement bags that we did get didn't come with a cup. The bags we're getting now does come with a cup. So your milk replacer should come with a cup. What I do is I get just a full cup of powder and I'll put it in this bowl and then I'll just take about half the bottle and I'll wash my hands off at the same time and I'll put just about a pint of water in that little mixing bowl and I'll whisk that up, mix it up really good. And that's what it should look like once it's mixed up. And all I do is pour that into the bottle. And as you see, there's some powder left in there. So then I re-pour some back in there. And mix it up again. Now I'll use my funnel. And pour all that back into there. Well, I'm gonna make this other bottle and I'll catch you out in the barn. So as you can hear, they're a little hungry this morning. I usually feed them before I go to work, but I'm off today. Like I said, this little guy, the other day, he takes the bottle pretty good and you can walk with him. Always think it's funny watching them drink, see who drinks the bottle first. Um, they're also on medicated feeds right now, starter feed, and I always keep fresh water with them. This little guy up front, he's been nibbling on feed. The guy in the back, not so much. What I do with my calves when I first get them, is I give them a shot of LA 300 and a, a vitamin shot. And then I give them Enforce just to give them a good head start. Then I give them a shot of multi men. Um, we used to raise Holstein bottle calves. Didn't have such good luck with that. Um, the market's just so much right now to put grain and everything to get a Holstein to what an Angus calf will do. You just can't. And both of these calves, how I come across them, they were pulled off the cows. Two different farms. Um, just kind of left the draw. But you can get 
uh, Angus calf or a black calf, they grow a lot better. Even a cross calf grows better than a than a Holstein. It's just hard to get meat on a Holstein in the market for where I live at. The market's not good for for Holsteins. Um, the profit's not there either. Uh, we clean their bedding out about once a week to every two weeks. And I should put fresh hay back down for them because they're under a lean tube so it doesn't get really wet. All the storms come up from the other side so there's not like they're getting rained in. And uh, this little guy in front has also been nibbling on some hay. We don't roll any hay here. We used to. Uh, now we do all square bales. Um, this year I may roll a couple rolls just to keep for the goats, but they seem to be eating square bales better. And that's how our farm is set up for square bales, for the storage of them. They're plus the hay quality is so much better. Well, the guy in the back is done. And the guy up front's not far behind. Oh, he is done. Well, hopefully this video helps if you're getting new into bottle calves. Hope it gives you a head start. Um, if you have any questions, just don't feel free to ask. You can see this guy's still a little hungry. There, it's so fun watching them grow up. Look how playful they are. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless. Uh -huh.